11 Habits That Can Help You Lose Weight Fast Admit it, not all of us have the best eating habits. But if you can recognize what you're doing wrong, it'll empower you to change your ways. At least according to certified dietitian Kathleen Zellman. She says that breaking bad eating habits and replacing them with good ones is the key to effective weight loss. And if you take on an overall healthy lifestyle, the benefits will only be multiplied. Besides shedding unwanted pounds, you'll have a stronger body and a happier spirit. So let's see exactly what you should and shouldn't do if you want to lose that extra weight for good. Stick around till the end of the video for a helpful bonus with some facts about excess weight you might not be aware of. 1. Avoid fat-free products a study published in the Journal of the Association for Consumer Research showed that people who consumed products that were labeled fat-free found them less filling and ended up eating more to satisfy their appetite. You see, in order to replace fats, these foods are filled with low-performing carbs that get digested so fast that the feeling of hunger quickly comes back. This means that you'll eat more in order to fill your stomach, resulting in weight gain. 2. Get six to eight hours of sleep a day. Researchers at Wake Forest Medical Center have found that people who sleep five or fewer hours a night put on over two times more belly fat than those who get an average of six to eight hours of sleep a night. This is especially true for people under 40. Not sleeping as much as you should makes you feel hungry, even if you're not. And that's because sleep loss affects the secretion of cortisol, a hormone that regulates the appetite. 3. Don't drink coffee on an empty stomach If you're like me, you reach for the coffee pot first thing in the morning. No breakfast, no shower, no talking, only coffee. Well, looks like we're doing some real damage to our bodies by drinking coffee with nothing in our stomach. Dr. Adam Simon, the chief medical officer at Push Doctor, an online doctor consultation service in the UK, is also a contributing writer to the site's blogs. In one of his articles, he explains that when coffee enters an empty stomach, it helps produce acid that can damage your stomach lining and cause indigestion. Plus, coffee stresses your body out, causing it to store fat. 4. Don't watch TV or listen to music while eating Researchers at the University of Vermont found that overweight people who reduced their TV time by 50% burned an average of 119 more calories a day. Another study published on the journal Food Quality and Preference showed that people who ate while listening to music consumed significantly larger amounts than those who dined in silence. This is because the mind is too preoccupied with the surrounding distractions that it doesn't realize you've eaten enough. 5. Don't go to the grocery store while hungry Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You go grocery shopping on an empty stomach and end up shoving everything you see into your cart. So you can probably guess what the solution is. Zellman recommends eating something small and healthy before heading to the grocery store. It's also imperative to bring a shopping list and stick to it as best as you can. Another really great idea is to sit down and plan your meals for the week ahead. This way, you'll know for sure what products you'll need to hunt for. 6. Cut way down on soda A regular 12-ounce soda contains 140 calories and 39 grams of sugar. That means if you drink only one can a day, you will eventually start putting on weight. A new study by Harvard's T.H. Chan School of Public Health and Mexico's National Institute of Public Health found that women who reduced their soda intake to just one can a week lost one pound more than those who didn't cut back on the sugary bubbly stuff. The study lasted from 2006 to 2008, and 11,218 women took part in the research. By the end of this period, the overweight participants lost a ton of extra pounds just from giving up pop. 7. Cut out after dinner treats a lot of people tend to eat something right after dinner, and that little treat usually comes in the form of a sweet dessert. Zellman suggests starting a new habit of having a cup of tea or drinking some sparkling water instead of reaching for a sugary snack. Generally, you shouldn't eat anything right after a meal because your body gets all the sugar it needs right from your food. 
so you really don't need anything else to sweeten your life. And if you constantly give your sweet tooth what it wants, the extra sugar will cause you to gain weight. Now, dietitians don't see anything wrong with having healthy treats as part of a nutritionally balanced diet. So, treat yourself right. 8. Don't drink bottled water. This one will probably come as a shock to you. Researchers at Washington State University found that drinking water from plastic bottles can actually be fattening. Yep, you heard right. Plastic bottles contain BPA, which is a chemical that causes fatigue, makes you put on weight, and disrupts your hormone levels. The study proved that BPA reduces insulin sensitivity and accelerates the formation of adipocytes, or fat cells. What's even more alarming is that 92% of the participants in the study had trace amounts of BPA in their blood. 9. Limit your eating to certain time slots. In a 2013 study aptly called Timing of Food Intake Predicts Weight Loss Effectiveness, researchers found that people who eat lunch later, between 3 and 4 p.m., lose less weight than those who have had their lunch by 1.30 p.m. A different study showed that, no matter how many meals you have a day, if you eat the last one before 8 p.m., you'll still consume fewer calories overall. What both studies prove is that having a balanced eating schedule results in satisfying your appetite before you get so hungry that you end up overeating each time you sit down to a meal. 10. Make a habit of starting with a light salad. The Journal of the American Dietetic Association published the results of a study that involved giving people a certain type of salad and then a pasta dish afterwards. In the end, those who started with a light salad consumed 7-12% to less of their pasta, while the participants who had a heavier salad actually consumed 8-17% to more of their second meal. This proves that plain salads made from kale, spinach, lettuce, and other leafy greens, without fattening dressings, actually help you eat less because they fill you up more. 11. Eat the same size portions whether you're at home or out and about. I'm sure you've noticed how humongous the portions at restaurants are. At least, they're typically bigger than the ones you consume at home. According to nutritionist Judy Kaplan, when you eat larger portions, your body stores those excess calories as fat since it can't do anything else with them. Eating two large portions a day won't replace five smaller ones. And that's because these big sizes slow down your metabolism and cause you to gain weight. Bonus tips. Not all people carry their extra weight in the same areas of their body. So here are different types of fat that stick to different parts of you. Brown fat, which collects in the upper back and shoulders, is the best kind. It's usually found in slimmer people since it boosts metabolism by keeping the body warm. That's also why babies have more of this type of fat. White fat usually gathers around the midsection and produces a good hormone called antiponectin which protects the body from diabetes and heart disease. Subcutaneous fat likes to collect in the buttocks and thighs. It's not a super harmful type of fat, and we'll get more into that here in a sec. Visceral fat is a dangerous type to have since it gathers around the internal organs, mostly in the area of the belly and waist. Belly fat is both subcutaneous and visceral, and it can be a sign of diabetes. Going back to fat on the thighs and buttocks, it may be a lot better than belly fat since a 2012 study showed that pear-shaped women are protected from metabolic disease. This disease is associated with a bunch of dangerous conditions, from increased blood pressure to abnormal cholesterol levels. There are ways to avoid giving in to temptation and eating snacks that your body doesn't need. Here are some changes you should consider making. Store unhealthy snacks in your lowest cabinet so that they won't be at your eye level and will require more effort to get to. Replace your traditional cookie jar with a fruit bowl and opt for healthier snacks throughout the day. Hide unhealthy foods at the back of the fridge so that you won't see them first thing as you open the door. Out of sight, out of mind. Which healthy habits do you practice or plan on adopting? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like this super useful video and subscribe to our channel. This way, you'll always stay on the bright side of life.